What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another Player of the Week review. Short and sweet, lads. We know what we're going to be getting from these National Team Player of the Weeks. Probably two or three really good players and the rest. While it's good, at this stage in the game, you should not be dependent on them. Now, if you're a newcomer or if you've been playing the game for that long or you're not playing that much of the game, some of these players can definitely improve your squad. I mean, Danny Carvajal is a really good option here if you're looking for a good attack and full back. And you get a boost with the manager to the acceleration and, of course, to his overall as stats as well with any of the managers with high team playstyle proficiency. I have a video on that. If you guys want to see what the managers do, you can just search for it in the channel or I'll leave a link below uh, in this video. But it's a good card. Attack and fullback. Plays way above his stats. Every Danny Carvajal card is really going to be nice because he's got speed and bullet, early crosser, and of course he's got the nice player skills. You can't give any of these players skills. So this is not going to be a blocker version of Danny Carvajal. If you want that, you can just go for somewhere else, someone else, or go somewhere else if you are looking for that right back position to be filled defensively, especially if you want blocker on it. But he does have interception, slide and tackle, man marking and fighting spirit. Pretty decent. He also has first time shot, pinpoint crossing and acrobatic finishing but no first time or one touch pass so that's going to be a bit of an issue for him if you play a lot of quick touch passing um, instead of possession or mixing it up a little bit stats are pretty decent and yeah he's definitely a player that you can kind of have um you know as your main right back not really end game but definitely a good focal point uh we also have a couple of other players let's hear i mean you've got your left midfielder box to box again you're not gonna I'm not going to focus too much on these guys because there's so much player. There's so many players in the game, like even these three boys here at the end, right? There's so many players here, like with Ericsson, Stancio. These guys are not really going to be the meta. And I feel like at this stage with the game, I feel like a lot of people have just forgotten that we're, we're playing a video game and it's meant to be fun. You know, trying out players that you want to try, you know, testing out different players instead of coming up against the same starting 11 or, you know, 14, 15 players every single game. And that's not a, that's not a you know, a, a complaint against, you know, the player like you or me or anybody. I think it's up to Konami to actually balance this and make it worthwhile for you playing with different types of players, different team strengths, different team levels, different players. But anyway, I'm going to go off on a tangent if I keep going like that. But it is something that has crept in in the last two to three months, especially, I think, even Division 4 and 5 players now. Everybody is kind of, you know, playing a certain way. Um, and a lot of these cards don't get a look in, which is a pity because some of my best experiences have been with these cards, these type of cards. But again, you've just got a standard creative playmaker. You know, why play somebody like this with these stats when you can play somebody, you know, like Borella or somebody that's just going to do it all um, for you with no real weaknesses, right? So uh, it's the same with Ericsson. You know, he's just too slow. His balance is, is, is pretty poor. His tight possession passing is really good, but he is definitely too slow for where the gameplay is at at the moment. So yeah, I think slow down the gameplay a little bit would bring these players more into rotation. But this is a nice card. One touch pass, low lofted. He doesn't have, but he does have weighted and true. No look pass as well. A lot of these cards hold players now don't have low lofted because that's it is it is really uh, a, a kind of a rare uh, player skill to have it off the rip. On to the rest of the pack, right? We'll start with Stones. Stones is your build up CB. Pretty decent, not as good as the English pack because obviously you can't train him up, but he does have one touch pass, true pass, and low lofted, weighted, and man marking, as well as blocker interception, area superiority, and sliding tackle. So all he's really missing is acrobatic clearance. Very solid card, very, very good player. I think a very underrated player as well, actually, within the Man City and England setup. You know, he's always a firm uh, fixture in their, in their starting lineup. Very, very nice player. Um, and he's going to get the boost off the managers as well. You know, that speed will probably kill him a little bit compared to the other build-up players but yeah definitely not the worst player in here uh fabian ruiz here as well as a box to box been having a good euro so far with spain's opening game 90 ball control and low pass off the rip he's going to get the booster so his booster is actually technique plus three um double touch we're going to have that off the rip interception as well as one touch pass through passing an area superiority he's a tall very strong very mobile even for his size uh, he's actually quite mobile. He does have those long legs to be able to intercept. But again, as a box-to-box -box defensive or attacking, he is missing out on a lot because he doesn't have the acceleration or balance for attacking and he doesn't have the defensive stats for defense. So he's kind of a kind of in between a rock and a hard place. We also have as well Oblak here as well, who's just your traditional goalkeeper. Oblak hasn't had a goalkeeper released in a uh, goalkeeper card released in a long time or a card released in a long time. Um, just a standard goalkeeper, lads. The reflexes are good, awareness catching, yeah. I mean, this is pretty much an end game level unless you're going to be spinning coins. Now, we have Gakpo here as well, who's down as a left winger. He's a prolific winger, and that's where he's kind of playing for the Netherlands, kind of roaming that left flank. 
nice dribbling type possession, ball control, let down by balance, but he is tall. Um, he's actually good in the air as well. I've played with Gakbo before on my road to glory. This card looks very similar to one that they released before, but it's a decent card. I mean, I won't get too excited about it. If we're talking about excitement, it's going to be for Kante. This Kante lads is really, really solid. It's one of the best cards they've actually released as a player of the week. Um, he's hard worker plus three to his aggression, acceleration, physical contact and stamina when he's on A rating. So he is on A rating this week, which was probably the best thing about this Kante card, um, that his, his live update is there. Because I know it's been months since he had a live update. Obviously he's playing in the AFC champ or the, he's playing over in the Saudi league. So that doesn't really get the player updates. Um, double touch, one touch pass, true passing, blocker, interception, sliding tackle, I mean, if you spin this guy with a couple of spins or you get him on a free spin, he pretty much is the free-to-play meta endgame, you know, Makalele. That's essentially what he is, or Davids. He's not going to replace Vieira or Rijkaard, but he's a different type of player. Um, very good acceleration and balance that are going to go into the 90s with a manager boost. Defensive stats all into the 90s. Speed at 85. Physical contact, ridiculous, man. And he can pass and shoot and dribble as well, even though his finish is only 64. You can score tap-ins with him if you want deep runs with him. So, yeah, he's definitely the pick of the pack. We'll also take a look at one of my favorite players in eFootball is Borella. Fantastic card. Really, really nice addition to your squad if you don't have him. He's on A rating as well. He actually has blocker off the rip, so it's a brilliant end-game level center midfielder that's going to be defensive. Aggression, tackling are going to be all up into the 80s. Speed, acceleration, kick and power and balance. All going to be where you need him to be as well. Low pass type possession and ball control. Fantastic. Really nice card. And then last but not least... We have the golden boy of Euro 2 so far. Lads, every time I watch this guy, man, he reminds me of Zinedine Zidane. I just love his dribbling. He's not blistering fast. Like, he doesn't have Mbappe-level pace. He's not got that turn of pace that, you know, you'd be like Foden or that low center of gravity type of, of player. But, man, his dribbling, his touches, his deft movements, he's just a joy to watch, man. He just makes it look easy. For a youngster, he's only 20, 21 years of age. 20 years of age says it there um speed acceleration balance he has the stats to make him meta i definitely think he's he's going to be the probably him and Kante are going to be the best players in this pack here in barella fantastic one touch pass super sub soul control everything that you could possibly want now obviously it goes without saying this is where the problem is with the player of the week so i'm going to show you here right so i already have this version of musiala here who goes to 100 if you have that version of musiala that's his stats there um, for the player of the week they released before pretty similar card really um very very nice card obviously there uh he's still got super sub and we also have this Kante and Barella so these boys are going to be on a form which is going to be huge um but that is the Kante the big time showtime Kante fantastic again really really solid card all about defense speed acceleration balance and stamina and then Barella. If you have any of those versions, lads, if you have any of these versions at all, Ronaldo's also on A form this week, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would definitely stick and not spin for the player of the week's past your freebie. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the player of the week. Let me know if you're spinning, and I will see you guys in a little bit.